So, if you've ever traveled before, you know how the process is. You book your ticket, you get to the airport, then you go through security, TSA, and when you go there, you see the line. Sometimes it's a lot of people and you have to wait for a little bit before you get through, or sometimes, and when you're lucky enough, it happens real fast and you get through TSA and head to your gate. Or if it happens to where there's in line, there's people in line, you wait, you get past TSA, and then we walk over to your gate. And you may be a bit tired from that, and so as you wait, you board the plane, and then you go to your destination. And when you board off the plane, afterwards you'll go to baggage, and wait to collect your bags if you have any. And then finally go to whatever hotel or wherever your destination may be in that city now. And this whole process is often exhausting. But there's some airports, small airports and the big ones, that make it seamless. Where you arrive at the airport, you get past security with short wait times such as 5 minutes on average. And have a lounge and a terminal with a range of dining options where you can dine and relax after a flight from wherever you come from. And efficient service from the staff, all of this is happening. Now, you may wonder, what airport is this or is there any such airport in the world? Well, this airport I'm talking about is the Billy Bishop Toronto City Airport. And it's a very small airport. It's a regional airport, so it doesn't cater to any international airlines. But what it does is it is on an island too. So whereas most airports around the world, you drive into the parking lot or you get dropped off. And if you do, you'll drive on the roads to the airport, get off, and there's roads connecting back to the different highways that there are that go to and out of the airport. But Billy Bishop, Toronto City Airport, it's an island. So what you need to do first, whether you're arriving or departing from the airport, is you need to catch a ferry uh, to get to the airport. And then all that checking in, the TSA and getting gate, that since it's a regional airport and doesn't cater to international airlines, all that is done in five minutes, which is really quick. And after, as I said, you have lounging options where you can, as well as retail, so you can buy souvenirs or just sit down and eat before your flight if you have enough time. And this airport, it's serviced by Porter Airlines and Air Canada with over 20 destinations to different sized airport, regional and international. So that's one. And another thing is it is just three kilometers away from the heart of Toronto, which is really nice. So that way when you land, you're already in the city and you don't have to drive from the airport to the city, which may take 20, 30, even 40 minutes at times, just depending on which airport you go to around the world. So that is one of the things that allow, since it is a very small airport, regional as I said. So, and even since it's uh, accessible three or the it's three kilometers from the heart of Toronto, it's easy to book a ride or walk, or like for example, if you wanted to, it's accessible from downtown by like taxi, streetcar, tunnel, even any app to uh, where you can catch ask for rides such as Uber and Lyft and any others like that, ride sharing apps, stuff like that. It's very easy since it's only three kilometers from the center of Toronto. And along with all this, you'll also have the buses uh, to shuttle to and from the airport on daily, daily routes if you don't want to do all the other options like that. As well as, because of that, it has a designated pickup and drop off location um, from Union Station, which does have a complimentary shuttle service. And that service, it offers travelers a comfortable ride equipped with free Wi-Fi, which is amazing because it just depending on the airport you go to, it or even the services to the airport. Like for example, Atlanta, uh, Hartsfield from downtown, they have bus services that can get you to the airport. But another thing, as I said with this, since Billy Bishop is a regional airport, 
if you go to other airports around the world, like international ones such as Chicago here or JFK or New York or San Francisco, obviously you know how it is with airports like that when you're traveling. Obviously you'll have the long TSA lines. After you pass TSA, you walk to your gate. Sometimes it's closed, sometimes it's in a different terminal completely. Now before all that, you have to make sure your baggage is checked in, like you have your luggage, proper ticket documentation, everything. And this can be exhausting as it is a bigger airport, so especially international airports. It is always busy and especially more busy during um, holiday times and peak times during season. So that is how Billy Bishop Airport, since it's first regional, as I mentioned before, doesn't uh, take any international airlines. It's so much smaller. At the whole, all the like baggage, TSA and enter gate is much, much faster. As I said, it only takes on average like five minutes to do all that, which is very quick and something you'd want as a traveler. Because I don't, obviously, if you can't avoid it, you can't avoid lines sometimes at TSA, but the travelers obviously you want some uh, to make the whole process go quick so you greet your gate on time you don't miss the flight and stuff like that and as i was saying to go going back to the ferry once you arrive at billy bishop there's a 90 second ferry ride to the toronto island or the underground tunnel in which you can go in about six minutes so it, the airport is breeze with minimal wait times and friendly service throughout all of this process that's happening. And along with this, you in the lounge that is found at Billy Bishop Airport, it's the Esper Lounge, which it's collaboration with Air Canada. And the lounge is basically a 133 seat modern um, room, along which has super fresh Wi Fi. Work, quiet workspaces, private meeting, new, private meeting rooms, um, and fresh and quality food and drinks that are available to go. And this is uh, what you'd find at any lounges too, or uh, lounges around the world at different airports. Because obviously, a lounge is something you can either sit at just to relax or wait uh, before next flight or if you got some work you want to do before you get up on the flight you can do that too or if you just want to eat or stuff like that that's what lounge is for and they have one too at billy bishop as i said and it the lounge is accessible to all pa uh, passengers traveling on any airline through access methods such as like priority pass rank pass Amer american express or like air Canada customers with 50 or 75k super elite status so it's just stuff like that as you'd find with any other airline if you are a member for that airline the different levels and what those levels get you obviously this is one way but another way too about this is you can also pay and uh use a lounge as well as that is also an option so these are just a couple of different things about billy bishop and if you, even if you type in it online, you'll see the airport, which is on an island, and then the city of Toronto, yeah, like um, on the background, not background, but like the ferry, the port, and you'll see the airport. And as I said, um, it's serviced by mostly Air Canada and Porter Airlines. And I will most likely make a video about Porter Airlines sometime in the future. Um, I actually have a Gemini Jets model of the Porter Airlines of the Dash 8, very popular aircraft, but though that's the thing about like regional aircraft, especially like airports like Billy Bishop where it's very small, and as I said, they don't uh, cater to the international airlines. The All of this process is much quicker. You get through TSA much quicker and you get to your uh, gate on time. And if you come early too, you'll have the option of, as I said, eating there, using the lounge if you can, or buying something from the store, like such as souvenir or a piece of clothing or something like that. So just small regional aircraft or airports like this, as I said, make it much faster than what you'd find at the bigger international air airports around the world. 
where obviously the whole baggage check-in TSA gonna take a that may take much longer and you may you're probably gonna be more tired after the whole travel um experience so that's all thank you for watching make sure to like comment subscribe and see you next time